Um, not too bad. We've had a few balls in the stands trying to play a little faster. Um, but but it's been really good. The intensity has been great. The energy has been great. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's been really good um, these first couple of weeks of practice. Yes, making the transition a little bit easier and that you have some of the classes coming back. You don't inherit uh, when you, you have something left. Well, yes and no. You know, no really because, you know, it's a whole new system and – um, everything's different and everything's new, so you feel as if you have 12 freshmen out there on the floor um, trying to figure out how to get it done. Um, and then, yes, and the fact that you know you got older ones who can can get through it, can fight through it, and and help the younger ones um, accomplish what they need to get accomplished. Mm -hmm. Titana's doing good. You know, she's. Um, playing extremely hard um she she's trying to um she's one of our juniors so she's one of our leaders that's trying to get you know the younger ones to come up and understand um what it is that we want to get done and you know she's also um you know recovering um you know from her injury and then you know fighting through that but you know in doing that you know she's still just playing as hard and in the fight always Hasina, Hasina's doing well. Hasina's doing well. You know, for just a sophomore, she has a tendency to to take over a little bit. You know, we saw that in um, Australia um, this summer. You know, she led our team in scoring and you know played a lot of minutes. Um, so it was easy for her to bring what she did in the summer into a starting practice. Unbelievable. Who did that schedule? Good God. Yeah. Um, I, I really don't mind, you know, where we play at, you know, it's just at that point of the season you're just really happy to be playing games because, you know, it you know, by the end of the month they're they're tired of beating up on each other, they're tired of playing against each other. Um, you know, our non-conference schedule is, is tough, but I, I think it's just a schedule to get us ready to compete in the SEC. Talk about being in the SEC. I know uh, we're, we're just in October and you're still playing football and <laughs> like that, but your view of this league, uh, now teams 1 through 14 uh, as a whole, as we sit in October. Mm -hmm. I mean, the league itself is just very competitive, and you can just see it in, in a lot of the preseason rankings, you know, how many teams you have, you know, not not just in the top 25, but in the top 10 in the country. Um, you know, so it's a very competitive league. It's a very um, good league full of good coaches and good players. I mean, it's the best league in the com in the country and, and one of the best ones. If if you want to compete, you know, you you got to come play in the SEC. Um, I don't know. It's hard to comment on newcomers. I mean, you know, they're freshmen. They ain't nothing to say about a freshman. Freshmen are straight so straight or straight so they're on survival mode right now. Okay, <laughs> they not they might not even know their name if you ask them. Um, you know, w one in particular is Shadell Clay. I mean, she she's gonna have to play, you know, some backup point guard for us this year because the way we play, Jet just cannot play. You know, the whole game. So, you know, without even quite sure of, of who the starters are going to be. I mean, I'm pretty sure the Jet will be our starting point guard and Shadell will be our backup point guard. So she's got to be able to come in and run the team. You know, we, we can't have any any laps when a new point guard comes in. Um, so I think she's got um, – <laughs> she's going to have her hands full there.